Hello friends, welcome to another day of Q&A's, joined by my lovely and helpful wife Lucy. Hi guys. Lucy will be asking me one of your questions from Instagram. So the question is by Bouye XD. What are Leo's thoughts on topical retinoids to improve the appearance of the skin? They seem to help with, with this for most of people who try them, but could there be any negative consequences to long-term use? Thank you for doing this. Thank you, Lucy. Actually, Lucy has some experience with this, yeah. but before we get into that, uh, so just so you guys know, um, topical rep retinoids like most famously Retin-A and the systemic version is called uh, Accutane. Mm -hmm. uh, these are similar to vitamin A. That's why they're called retinoids. Vitamin A is retinol. Mm -hmm. So in general, vitamins that are taken at high doses, some of them can have deleterious effects. So for example, vitamin D does that, vitamin A does that as well. So hypervitaminosis A, which is having too much vitamin A, can cause uh, liver fibrosis. See, it's stored in the liver. So it causes mm -hmm. some liver dysfunction. It can cause uh, liver fibrosis, which means like a deposition of collagen at, at, at the liver, just like what happens with NAFLD in later stages, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Um, it also causes issues with calcium, so people can get osteoporosis, early oste osteoporosis, which means weak bones. Now, generally, you don't have too much of a concern of getting hypervitaminosis A if you're eating plant uh, forms of beta carotene of car or of other carotenoids, because a fewer percentage of them is absorbed. Whereas mm -hmm. in the animal form, retinol is what you're getting, which is readily absorbed, and whatever you're eating, like from liver or something like mm -hmm. that, you're going to store in your liver as vitamin A. So, and by the way, guys, not everybody absorbs the same amount of uh, carotenoids or converts the same amount of carotenoids into vitamin E. Mm -hmm. So uh, some genetic polymorphisms actually have been discovered that really affect how much people can convert. I checked this out in my DNA package called the metabolic package. Anyway, the point is you're, you're pretty safe if you're eating it in plant forms. But if you're eating a lot of liver, you have to be concerned about, with the liver, you have to be concerned about copper, about iron, and about uh, vitamin A. Anyway, when it comes to these uh, derivatives of vitamin A, what they do is they agonize two receptors. One is called the uh, retinoic uh, acid receptor and one is called the retinoid X receptor. Mm -hmm. That's RAR and RXR. Um, in particular, so there are several, several generations of these and they've been improved upon in some way. One of the earliest ones is the one that's involved in Accutane and Retin-A. So what's known about these things is that um, they, first of all, uh, we'll talk about the systemic version, Accutane, before we talk about the topical one, mm -hmm. because the systemic one is where you see the serious side effects. When you take the systemic version, which is an oral uh, version, Accutane, you get a lot of, uh, of the uh, actual molecule across your body, not just in the skin. So what ends up happening is that's where they've seen an increase in micronucleus uh, fr uh, density in the, in the body which indicates um, uh, DNA damage, a mutation of the, of the DNA. So it's known that uh, higher levels of these retinoids are pro-oxidant and cause uh, mutagenic effects, as well as they cause a serious ra ra uh, rise in birth defects. I was going to say, so in France when they prescribed it to me, uh, every month before I get my prescription, I had to go and get a pregnancy test at the lab. Really? At, at 14 years old, yeah. <laughs> because it's 25 times more likely to get a birth defect with a child. Oh, if you uh, yeah, and they, they show you actually graphics when inside the, the box. For, yeah, uh, for they the should, human. because it's, it's seriously damaging. Now, children, you can give birth to a, a child with some kind of defects through other things, like, for example, taking an SSRI, just having too much serotonin in your body, not having DNA damage. But this is a more deleterious kind. This is where your DNA is, is damaged. So you're Yeah, they usually come up this form, disproportional uh, head. Yeah, you'll have severe side effects. So so that's one thing. Also, people taking Accutane often have uh, dyslipidemia. So they have higher LDL cholesterol, they have higher triglycerides. Um, so they have, a, and which seems to be because of the effects on the liver. Because the vitamin mm. A is being stored in the liver, it's a high, uh, or the, the retinoids are as well. They're storing, they're causing a, uh, some kind of issues in the liver, and dysregulation in the liver in general. However, um, retinol, only about uh, twenty, less than twenty percent of the retinol that so retinol is a cream. It's applied to mm -hmm. the skin. Less than twenty percent of it gets into the system. So it's it's not been shown to uh, to uh, induce DNA mutation in the body. However, if you think about it like this, it's still super concentrated in the skin. Yeah. So it's very likely, although there's no evidence of this, I'm just saying, it's very likely to be causing DNA mutations in the skin as well. However, 
with that said, what it does show is that, so, so most of the UV spectrum that uh, that's affecting your skin is UVA, mm -hmm. but the which which goes deeper into the dermis. Mm -hmm. But UVB light, uh, which affects uh, melanogenesis with the production of darker pigment in your skin, the effects of it are somewhat blocked by pretreatment with retin A. So if you use retin A before you go in the sun, you get less dark. But also the su the sun, the UVB rays affect something called the uh, MMP. I I for it's like met metalloproteinases, something like that, which cause a degradation of collagen in the in the of matrix collagen in the skin. When you mm. apply Retin A beforehand, it prevents this action, and it also increases the deposition of collagen in the skin. But don't they recommend not to go on the sun if you put Retin A? Which makes sense, probably because of the concern about DNA damage. Oh, but there have been studies that show. Going out in the sun, it prevents some of the visible effects of the aging of the skin. The reduction, the 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 uh, problems with the matrix collagen, and on its own, it increases collagen deposition. It also increases the microvascular, like the blood vessels in the skin. So, basically, my my opinion on this, you've tried both, right? Mm -hmm. How has your experience been? I had, well, when I was fourteen, I had a lot of um, cystic acne and like you know big basically big pimple all over my face. Accutane really helped, but the side effects were absolutely awful. I remember gaining weight, I had my lips dried, so they get very dry when you take in the treatment. I took the treatment for a year, um, but they stay dry for 10 years after that. Really? I had to, to use um, lip balm for basically the rest of my life. Now it's getting better, but for 10 years, I had to have my lip balm all the time with me. Um, my lips will be chops. Um, and the other cream, uh, the cream worked. Uh, you can see an improvement. However, it's my, my skin is too sen the cream is too strong for my skin sensitivity. For me, it's like it. I really have to apply it like once a week max, so you don't see as much effect. And the day after, I'm very red and itchy, and it dries my skin. So she's talking about retin A. She actually stopped using retin A because I warned her about this a few yeah. months ago. So I, I, I realized that if Accutane was causing DNA damage systemically, then even though the retin A may not be causing systemic DNA damage, it's probably causing DNA damage on the skin, mm -hmm. which I assume could eventually cause melanomas. But there is not that much research into this, so there's not much evidence of it. But in general, basically, you can think of it like... Um, Look, we talked about uh, laser therapies before for the skin, and I, saw, I said those are directly oxidizing to cause direct damage to the skin. But they probably improve the skin less than, the appearance of the skin less than Retin-A does, I assume. Although I haven't seen the, the results of those myself. So I would say that using Retin-A probably improves, like if you're someone who's very cosmetically interested, it will have a big effect on the way you look. Mm -hmm. But you, in the long term, you're probably giving up the uh, DNA, the, the cellular integrity of your skin yeah. in exchange for more collagen and more uh, a blood uh, flow in that area. So basically, this is my view on it. You know, it's, it's definitely pro-oxidant. And I mean, although only less than 20%, it depends on the formulations going underneath it, you're having all those same effects of the Accutane just topically on the skin. So... There are deleterious effects. It's interesting, actually, someone asked, someone messaged me to book a consultation, and one of his questions was about this. So this is convenient. Maybe you'll see this out of time. So what do you think about other kind of skincare? What would you recommend? Would you use, like, different acids, or do you think it's worse? I have never looked into that. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I have a... F oh, by the way, I just wanted to comment on something. You were saying earlier that your skin is getting dry, was getting dry from the Accutane. Yes, correct. The reason for this is there's a there's an incre a, like a, a a lag at which they keep the skin keeps producing more and more collagen, and this collagen breaks mm -hmm. off. That's why you have the flaky skin, because oh. your skin is overproducing collagen. I see. That's the but no, I haven't looked into acids. In my I don't know if they I doubt they cause DNA damage. What I imagine they're doing is causing the skin to shed a layer, and then a fresher layer is coming out, mm -hmm. which looks. Um, I do know though that, this is off topic, but I do know that in India and in several countries in the world it's very common to use an acid uh, on their skin. In fact, I forget the name of it. Maybe someone Indian watching this could comment down below. I forgot the brand name, but there's a, it, oh, it's called Fair and Lovely. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's called Fair and Lovely. It's a huge you know brand. Do kind of acid? No, no, I don't know. But it's, it's called, then they even shower with it sometimes. Yeah, it's not just on the face. 
Oof. But I don't know. I don't know. We should look into that actually. No, no I've be been using the the doing a light peel on my face once a week now. With an acid. With an acid, mm -hmm. I researched which chemical will work the best for my skin, the type of that, and I took a very light one, and I only leave it for a minute, which is very low, and then I put a neutralizer. And I think it works much better than the retin retinic. Yeah, I couldn't imagine that it would cause uh, DNA damage. It doesn't even make my skin peel. I just see the result like three or four days later, my skin texture changes. So it reduces the pores basically and makes your skin more even. Interesting. And which the cream retin just makes my skin more... It, 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 it improves the appearance, but not in the same way. It improves the texture, but it doesn't help with the pores or like... And I don't know, to me, it makes right, my skin more dry than any other kind of... I know somebody commented about our skincare, so that's yeah, why I'm talking and bringing up the subject. Us. And they said I wear makeup also. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for your question. We'll see you next time.